Hello and welcome back to City Skylines Atlantis, where we are currently undergoing a huge growth spurt in the city, and at the same time the water is getting slowly and slowly higher. Uh, it's actually noticeably high now. There's a lot of water. <laughs> Okay, so the city is growing very quickly though. We have a ton of demand and we can actually just keep flipping our properties to be higher uh, density. Until at least our services can't handle it anymore. Just gonna use the brush. It's, I feel it's simpler than using the bucket tool at this point. So we're going to rip down all of these homes, which is going to cause a slight drop in population. But not for long, because here come the new buildings. That huge demand we have is really going to push our population over the top. Oh, what do you look at that? One person, one person made it by. There we go. Okay, all of those are now filled in. we got to fill these in too. And look at that. Many little apartments. It's very exciting. We have a lot of demand for commercial as well, so I'm thinking we can go ahead and replace these commercial areas with high density commercial, just to fit a bit more. Nothing better than some commercial zone. There we go. Very nice. Look at that. We've got our logging industry, which is doing very nicely. Our population is skyrocketing right now. Uh, quite literally, it keeps speeding up. I'm not sure how much faster it can go. Thankfully, even as we speed up, the water keeps coming at the same rate. Although... I'm using these as a gauge, these uh, electric ones. If I move this, we can see just how much higher the water is since like 10 minutes ago, which is uh, noticeable, definitely noticeable. Okay, so things are going very well. This highway system is saving us. Even though it's a little bit backed up, it's still working much better than anything else. Uh, just that simple road we had before would not have been able to handle this much traffic. We could actually upgrade this to four lanes. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. We can go ahead and increase our throughput a little bit. Four lane. National Highway. I'm looking for just a simple... Four-lane highway with barriers. There we go. And Anarchy is going to help us out here. The extra lanes will allow people to plan where they're going a little bit further ahead. And should decrease congestion a little bit. Maybe. We could also do some lane editing. Oh, big city. We get another area, and now we have destination and stuff, which means we can cremate people. Let's go ahead and put a large crematorium down. Where it'll fit, at least. That barely goes into the road. I wonder if that works. Um, You know what? I don't think that's very noticeable. I think I'm actually going to leave it. I think it looks kind of nice there. Even though it kind of goes into the road, it's not the end of the world. Okay, there we go. Everyone is upgrading because now they have much better death care. These people are upgrading as well. Population is going up. We just hit 16,000. And we can buy a new area. So look at that. We have hit the edge. Now the question is, how expensive will it be to take down this wall so that we can survive? Well, let's see how much money it takes to just do a tiny bit. A 
Oh, yeah. That is going to be rather expensive. That is going to be very... Taking that tiny debt out cost like 60,000 and it filled up all of our soil. What's nice is we can use that soil to just kind of pad and put a little bit more landmass down on our island. So now we can actually build ourselves out. We can make more room. Man, that's a lot of, a lot of money. This is going to be extremely expensive to move. Wow. Yeah, that's going to blow through all of our money, and that's not even the tallest it gets. It's going to uh, be quite, quite the project. <laughs> Trying to save ourselves. And even then, I don't know if the water will actually pour out faster than it's coming in. It's coming in at the speed of, like... This, this, <laughs> and then like 10 more of them all around. I'm not sure if a tiny little channel is going to be enough to pour all that water out. We may be better off trying to make defenses against the water than trying to get rid of it altogether. At that price, that cost about 100,000. That's going to cost 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. A million, we're talking at least, at least two million dollars to push it all the way back. And that's a super thin channel. And that's, we were only getting rid of half of it too, so it's probably double that. We're looking at like, at least a ten million dollar uh, price tag to push this out. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so, ignoring the fact that we are going to blow through our money very quickly trying to survive. Let's go ahead and make some more areas for work over here. We'll go off of this very nice area here and we'll just make a square for business. I think I could have done better if I went sideways. Better for the traffic, too. Okay, and now we can go ahead and zone it all with office zone. Fantastic. Look at that, everyone popping up. Our industrial is going down, or I guess it's not really industrial, it's just industry in general. Oh wait, that's industry. <laughs> ah, they count it under industrial though for the offices, so. But we've got this new office section popping up, educated jobs. Things are going pretty well, and the lower education jobs are doing well as well. Because there are slots for them in these nicer buildings. And we are shipping a lot of freight along these rails. Things are going pretty... Oh! Look at that! We get a third loan and some cool stuff. Oh boy. This one's got its uh, concrete covered now. And this one's all the way up to the solar panel almost. The amount of land is going down very quickly. You can really tell the amount of distance from the sewage to the ocean is uh, getting worrying. And the sewage is starting to go around. It's very disgusting. I wonder if we actually have the better... Uh, no, we don't. 32,000 for that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and build up something new. I think that I can actually, pretty safely, this is going to be a weird uh, intersection. It's going to be pretty busy, but I can pull this across here, and I'll pull this across here so that they don't complain.
There we go. Now we have a little road over here. And I just cut the entire city off from power. How is that already occupied? Be quiet. <laughs> it is not. Okay, there we go. And now they can go across here to the office area, but the main reason I did that was so that I could throw on another simple residential area over here, but since we're gonna go with high density, maybe we should... Ah, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend the extra money. We're gonna make this a nice, nice road. And I'll pull this nice road across here. And we'll get rid of these to make the intersection a little bit simpler. Okay, looking good. Now that we have this new main road... Just let me do that. And now we can go ahead and make another section of housing like this. Our simple just coming off down the mountain. Really economically using that space. Because each one, each intersection only has one real option. So it doesn't create huge traffic jams. And at the same time, we can zone so much on it. Like, this is zoning heaven. For such a small area. Okay. We're just about done. Now, because of the windmills, we're going to have to do a bit of commercial. But that's fine. No issue with that. Look at that. Now, very, very uh, steep hills here for housing, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. Just gotta make sure to keep that e-brake on the car on. And now, zone commercial along here because we have demand. Get the whole thing under a district. I'm gonna call it Hillside Heights. Because it's right on the side of the hill. And now we can get them some water. Don't worry, guys. You're all going to have water soon at, at some rate. <laughs> because the entire thing is going to be underwater. But I don't think that's what they uh, were asking for. I think they just wanted, you know, drinking water, not drowning water. Okay, here we are. Meteorologist have oh, shoot. I was supposed to turn that off. No! That's supposed to be off from San Vuprisco. Yikes. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you better not break that bridge. You had better not break that bridge. I would be very upset with you if you broke that bridge. Don't do it! Don't do it! I don't do it. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Wow. The nerve. Great. Shut down all my transit. And now I gotta fix all of it. What a mess. There we go. Okay, well, those are turned off now. Whoops. Looks like Atlantis has had a tiny tornado. No casualties! <laughs> Fantastic. At least nobody died. Except for the people who were on that road, but I guess they were citizens, so it doesn't count. They were just traveling. Okay, here we go. So many roads being zoned. So much space for people to move in. But the question is, will they? 
And the answer is yes, they are moving into this strange hilly area. I don't know why, but they are. Well, I do know why, it's because there's nowhere else available. We've kind of used up a lot of our space. Except for this. This is... This will just make the traffic so much more complicated, though I'm not sure I want to. I guess I'll have to create, like, a bunch of jumps to go over. Okay, looking good. Oh, boy! Oh, yikes. That's going quite a bit higher. So let's put down another new one so that we can compare in a little bit. Wow! Look at the difference! The water went up a lot. Is it speeding up? That's pretty intense from there to there. Uh, yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to worry me. Like I said, we don't have too much time left. Let's go ahead and look at our elevation map. So it's about here. Yeah, it's it's getting there. Now these guys are pretty safe. We made them a nice area. And the entire city's pretty safe, honestly. Um a lot of them are on high ground. They've got the high ground, so they're going to be safe, but we are going to hit a point soon where things get very scary. And it apparently is already here because I was looking at the wrong line. Uh, so it's even higher than that. Yikes. It's okay though, we'll figure it out. It looks like Hillside Heights is uh, doing pretty well. We've got a lot of happy residents. We need more industry, so we're going to expand our logging operations. Bam. I have that very fancy. <laughs> you know, I'll do that. And that. Now that curve around there. That curve around there. Look at that. That's fantastic. And then we can just copy this here as well. And now we have a way to get all over the place. Yes. Fantastic. Go ahead and zone it all up. Strawberry string. Oh, springs, first off. And second off, everything's on fire. That's an issue. Thankfully, we have a fire station right there, so hopefully that'll help out. Sorry, guys. Sorry about the fire. More of you move in <laughs> while there's a fire. Oh, wow. Look at that. We've got some nice buildings over here. Jeez. It's a funny little area. Yeah, we're getting uh, quite a few high-rises. Very nice high-rises. How high is our land value at? Oh, it's getting up there. Nice. That makes me happy. Sure, we could raise it a bit more. Uh, oh my, the elementary school availability is very low. Okay. It's time to give some education. And I know the person's gonna be like, dude, if you educate them, they won't work. But I don't know, our industry is getting high tech now. So I think that we will have enough uneducated people and educated people. I think it'll balance out fine. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. There we go. Fantastic. We've got all of our buildings down. And now we've got high schools. Which I'm gonna plop over here on these hills. Ooh, it won't even let me do it with the uh, mod. <laughs> it's too steep.
this road's getting a little bit congested. Uh, it is a very popular road, though. A lot of people are coming into the city from here, just causing some issues. But we can split that by bringing it over here as well. Everything's looking pretty good right- oh my, that is a- You better gain some speed before attempting that one. Jeez. That is very steep. Also, get new tires. You need very grippy tires for that. Yikes. Okay. Looking good. Looking very good. Do we have a college? Yes, we do, and we have plenty of capacity in it. Uh, we need another high school, though. About right there. Okay, what aren't you guys happy about? You're not very happy about police or cargo. What is our police situation? Well, I've got one tiny thing. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put a police headquarters right over here. There we go, and now everyone's happy. Now we're going to get tons of upgrades. Look at that. And those upgrades really do drive the city, because when they upgrade, we get a lot more people in each building. Building vertically is important. We'll go ahead and rezone these. Trying to force a bit more high-density commercial in there. We're having a little bit of trouble, but we'll figure it out. Better Briarwood Square looking good. Elm Heights, where everyone's working. Oh, people are actually using this. Wow. A lot of people are getting those new tires, apparently. Wait, how did the... How did the trucks even manage? I need to see how this works. Do they, like, bend? Come on, truck. Go over it. I need to I need to inspect how this works. We need a truck to take a right. Okay, no trucks are actually going in that direction, so I don't think I'll ever know. Come on, just one? Someone must need supplies. There's some before, but I missed it. Darn you, trucks. Very sad. Oh, yay! Capital City! We get more space and we get more stuff. Fantastic. Actually, something I didn't check is are any of the walls thinner than the other? I think they're all about the same. Um, oh, what is it over here? There's something on every side. That's, or, I don't know what's over here. There's something on every side. I, I just, I don't think I can actually reach it. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> um, this side may not have anything, actually. It may only be the other three sides. Oh, boy. Okay, so I get a bit more space. I'm actually going to buy more space on the island. Because I want to expand. I don't know where the best... That might be the best spot right there. That's nice, but it's not quite as nice as this. We have to grow the city. Even with the water issue, we can't stop growing. Because we need to make enough money to tear down that area. Okay. See if we can do it. Brace for wallet impact. Oh, jeez. We did, like, nothing. We did absolutely nothing. And it's so much money. Holy moly. 
Actually, I have a plan. Oh, jeez, we're having water issues. Yikes. Forgot to actually give you guys water. Sorry about that. And it's time to expand our water services anyways. But thankfully, we do have these now, so we can clean up a little bit. Ready for this. Can I actually fit them? Well, that's a great question. Alright, let's try this. If we can... No? Ooh, the game does not want this to work. Okay, how about we put you here, and we put you... Great. Oh, and I'm full of soil, too. You know, we'll just flatten this out a bit over here, and flatten this out a bit over here. How does that sound, game? Are you okay with that? Are you cool with that? So we'll move you back a little bit. We'll move you here. How's that? These have to pump at least twice as much, right? No? Oh, yes. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Now we've got a whole lot more sewage. But at least it's cleaner now. It's a bit cleaner, I think. Um... Yes, it's much cleaner. And it's pushing the dirty water out of the way. So even though this is going to be here forever because there's no water exiting, <laughs> at least we're done with polluting. This is slightly polluted, but it's not enough that, like, it's bad. The worst thing to do would be using these because these just take water out of absolutely nowhere and it would actually be adding water to the map. Although I guess this is doing the same thing because this is coming out of the... M it's not actually coming out of the ocean. Yikes. And I'm not going to pump it because it's going to get dirty and I won't be paying attention. Let's see, this does 20. This does 25. I'm going to put a new fire thing down. And one down here. And one over here. And we're also going to get a crematorium over here. I'll actually do a fancy crematorium over here. I'll make people very happy. And they're all going to upgrade their buildings. Fantastic. I think when they upgrade, they forget about their problems, too. <laughs> Forget about the dead bodies. Look at that. What a nice new section. You can see where we lost permission to build, though. It's a pretty clean line there. Uh, the city, Atlantis, is growing very quickly. We have lots of money and lots of people. Uh, we also have lots of work to do. Oh, we actually have to use the soil somewhere. Um... I don't know where I want to use it. I mean, I could expand that out a bit more. I could expand this out of... Well, I can't. I don't own that. I guess I will go to plan B. Now, my plan was to make another section of the city that's just a bit more raised up. So that it'll survive, like, longer than the rest of the city. It'll be really expensive, but if we're getting soil anyways, I don't see any reason not to. Oof. All of our money. All of our money's going away. And for what? So that these people survive? Is that really worth it? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, but it is certainly expensive. We've made a little tiny bit of progress, guys. Tiny bit of progress here. 
I'm slightly worried about my money situation, though. And if this is actually going to be enough. I mean, sure, a bit of water is going to pour out, but not as much as is coming in. It'll slow down the inevitable... Oh, jeez. Now that's even higher. It costs so much more. Oh, no. It's getting worse. This is expensive. This is so expensive. Holy moly. It's like... Really killing the bank account. Do you see that? We barely even move now. The soil is just too high. Oh, jeez. Now, what you may ask is, why don't you take these spots that are already low? And that's because it'll fill even more water if we dig it. So, we don't want to do that. That would be a bad idea. And you may ask, why don't you close it off? And the answer is the exact same thing. That'll make it... That'll force it to go even higher, and that'll make it produce more. Or I guess it'll flow over at the same rate, but it won't actually slow it down, so it's not worth the money. I kind of like how this isn't worth the money. This is ridiculous. This is a race against the clock at this point. I mean, we're the population is skyrocketing, and everything's going so well, but... At the same time, that water level's going up. And our escape plan is looking a little bit less than, uh, good. And these, these are showing a scary story. They're almost at the level of the windmills now. Our bridge is gonna be unsafe soon. Our sewage is starting to back up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's looking bad. But guys, we're going to have to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. When hopefully we're able to break through this. I mean, it's expensive, but we should be able to. I don't know. With that progress, it's going to take, like I said, a whole lot of money to pull that off. But at least, even if we don't do that, we're going to have this little safe area. We can plop some, uh, maybe emergency services or something on. Flood trucks. Something. I don't know. See you all next time. Bye.